Today, we want to show you how you can set up a Baramundi PXE relay. Let's jump right in. My name is Nick from the Baramundi support and we will start right now in the BMC. In the BMC, you can easily deploy the Baramundi PXE relay via managed software. For that, we click in the tab software, managed software and search for the product Baramundi Management Suite and the PXE Relay. You can set a release for the product you need and after it downloaded successfully, we can create an install job. After we successfully created the install job, we can assign it to the server where we want to install the PXE Relay. After the installation was successful, we can now switch to the new Baramundi PXE Relay server and connect the PXE Relay with the database. On the new PXE Relay server, we can open the start menu and start the database manager. Here we can now click set active database and type in the database server and the database from the Baramundi server. Click on next and finish. So now we can see the database was, was successfully activated and the PXE relay is connected to the database. We can now click on finish and that's it. So we can now start the Baramundi Management Center. You can use a Management Center instance on any admin client. In our case, we install the Management Center directly on the PXE relay server. Here it is important that you type in the server name of the PXE Relay server and not from the Baramundi server. So now we can connect to the PXE Relay. After the login, you can already see that we not have so much configuration opportunities on the PXE Relay. The main task of the Relay is the function for the PXE server. So we check out now the PXE configuration. For that we click on Configuration, Server, Settings, PXE Support. In this case, we let the PXE server active. One more important thing is to configure the TFTP root folder. In the standard, the boot environments will be placed in the standard TFTP path on the main Baramundi server. The path we will show you here in the video. You have the opportunity to copy the boot environments manually here on the PXE Relay server and set the path here in the TFTP root folder or you also can place the boot environments on the DIP server. If you want to work with the DIP variable here, it's important that you configure on the main Baramundi server an IP network where the PXE Relay server is in the scope and configure there the DIP server. Now we successfully installed the PXE Relay and configured the PXE server options on the Relay. If you have any further questions, you can contact us in the support. See you next time.